Whenever I think of a single bed fair aisle, the Sullivan clothes labels pop up in my head. For each row there are two active colors of yarn, one is used to make the knit stitch and the other is held behind the piece. So today I will show you how to knit a single bed fair aisle. According to the deco manual you have to use the cards that have the letter A on them. Each card with the letter A can be knitted as a double or a single bed fair aisle. That is the diagram for the single bed fair aisle. First, you have to choose carefully the card that you want to use, that depends on the project you want to make. If the wrong side of your project will be visible, you have to choose a card in which the holes are punched close to each other, on the places where the card is not punched you will have floats. I will show you three different cards. Let's look at the one with the stars. It has the letter A so you can knit it as a single bed fair aisle, but look at the empty squares. The more not punched squares there are on the card, the longer the floats on the wrong side would be. If you use this card, you will have some pretty long floats and the wrong side won't look good if it is visible. Now let's see the second card. That was the first thing I knitted using the deco device ever, it's a double bed knit. If you knit it as a single bed fair aisle, there would be several pretty long floats on the wrong side. Now let's see the third card that I have prepared. The motif on top is just right for a single bed fair aisle, the holes are spaced not more than 3 squares apart. According to me that's perfect for a single bed knit. On the second motif we have holes that are spaced 6 squares apart. Let's knit the card and see the result. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. I will raise 40 needles on the front bed and I will arrange them in 1 to 1 division. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 1. Set the back lock to GX. Insert the black strippers and take the main yarn. Knit one row and raise the rest of the needles on the front bed. I'm only making a demonstration so you have to follow the instructions for your garment. Now raise two needles on the back bed as shown in the diagram. On the front bed increase the stitch size to 4. Then set the back lock to N and the stitch size to 4. Knit one row to finish the cast on. Now increase the stitch size to 5 on both sides of the lock. Tap on the needles and knit 20 rows to make the border. If you are not making a test piece, you have to follow the instructions for your garment. Now set the front lock to BX and press the left arrow key. Attach the card reader in the middle. Now raise pushers and the row working needles on the front bed. Insert the punch card into the reader until you hear a click. Push the trip cam for the row counter to the left as far as it can go. Slide the deco device to the right, attach it to the front lock and set it to 4. When knitting a card with the letter A you always have to knit the first two rows with the main color of the garment. Then change the color and knit the next two rows with the color for the motif. You have to change the color every two rows. I won't show you the whole process, you have to knit until you reach the desired length, you can loop the punch card using the plastic clips if you have to knit it more than one time. After you knit the desired length, set the deco device to zero, detach it from the front lock and slide it to the left. Set the front lock to N and knit 20 rows. That will make the border on my test piece. Here is what it looks like. Look at the motif that is on the top. The floats are small and it looks perfect. Then we have 3 empty rows on the card. That means you will have long floats with the trimming color.
Now look at the motif in the middle. It's looking pretty good except the floats in the middle. The long floats won't look good on a sweater, but no one will notice them on a pillowcase or a buckwheat lining. It depends on your project. Now you can see the elephant. There are some pretty long floats on the wrong side. And just for comparison, that's the double bed knitted test piece. To avoid having long floats, you can raise several needles on the back bed. The floats will be knitted, but the fabric will look ripped and won't be flat on the wrong side. If the floats are along all the length of the piece, that color hasn't been used for knitting the row. In that case, you can cut and hide the yarn tails. But if you cut some of the other floats, you may ruin the image. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you in my next video!